I'm just going to do a quick run through of this code, starting with loading the R Selenium library and then getting an RS driver going. So this is a browser window that I can control through R. And then I'm going to use it to navigate to facebook.com. So what's happening um, in my Firefox window is I've navigated to facebook.com and I can just check that. And then I can send my login information through these elements. Looks like that worked. And then I'm gonna navigate to Our Lady's Global Photos. So if this was my own Facebook account, um, the original code would work a little better. Unfortunately, uh, groups aren't quite the same, so I'm gonna skip a little code and I'm just gonna click on the first photo by hand just to get the first one up. And then I'm gonna set an empty character vector. I've got special behavior for the first two photos and then from three to 5,000 would do uh, a loop. Um, there's actually only three photos on the Our Ladies group, so if I look at the distinct URLs here, uh, there's only going to be three of them. So now I've got those uh, URLs and I can write them out to a CSV file and then close out of my Selenium session. I don't know why this Java process never seems to end and I have to force quit it on my computer. Uh, but then I can go to downloading the images. I'm going to use curl and just go back, get those URLs and go through um, and download each one. And then the photos are in my working directory, which in this case was IMG. And you can see here's one of the pictures now.